Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, episode 199 of the JKWD podcast. It is almost the end of the first quarter of 2020. How are your goals? Kelvin, how you doing? I'm still back on 199. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That... That seems like such an unimaginable number from when we started way back. Did you imagine 199? Tell me the truth. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I did. Um, I think in my brain uh -huh. um, that we're going to do at least 200. And I think we're going to do more than that. Uh I, as I don't think we're, I don't think we're ready to record the final episode yet. Um, nope. You know, I, I, think, I think we're, I think we're having fun and enjoying this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to speak for you in that. Uh, Cause you uh, seem like you are. And uh, <laughs> no, you know, I got a friend that says, don't put words in my mouth cause it's unsanitary. But <laughs> 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 I, <clears throat> Put some yeah. on there first. I enjoy our ahead. podcast. It's it's actually it's kind of um, what is the term I'm looking for? It's a um, I don't want to say an anchor point. It's a um, no. That, that is a good. That's but that's but that's that's close enough. That is a good. That is a good way to say it because you know we make sure that we're here on Friday morning to recording episodes early some Monday and sometimes we like getting ahead and, and doing that, but we still show up and it means that if we don't want to record one time, we can still get together on our Friday morning and yep. record. Yeah, you know, it's a good point in our week and it keeps us trying to generate ideas. So even if it's the only idea we generate all week and it usually isn't, you know, I, I usually at least have one blog post going up during the week and you usually have a podcast and, and five, Five, count them, five <laughs> vitamin Ks. Sometimes, sometimes I forget about I forget about those five yeah. vitamin Ks, man. It's like yeah, it's a, <clears throat> yeah, it's a piece of content to there. to be creative about, and uh, and if nothing else, it's the one piece of content that we collaborate with somebody else on in a week, and and that's a different exercise altogether. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So when you start thinking about it, because I do, oh, wow, I guess you're right, because I do five vitamin Ks, and my podcast, which I'm doing regularly now, ha-ha, mmm, yes. I like that. Yeah. And uh, and then I do, if I get back on that blog post, I mean, then I, and then I do hours, so that's, yeah, that's, yeah, it's two podcasts a week and, and five individual. Right, I guess I'm busy. Yeah. Engaged, well, maybe engaged is a better word. I guess. I'm yeah, busy. well, consistent. So, well, you know, we'd always need a, another couple of cups of that consistent. <laughs> consistent. Another white meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Why is it so yes, so we are. So yeah, it's a it's a it's a staple. We love it. Um, yeah, and we'll talk close. more about. Yeah, well, I think we'll talk more about um, to our favorites next week in episode two hundred. Okay, uh, but for now, episode one ninety nine is brought to you by Kettle and Fire. You can get all kinds of soups and bone broths that are the grass fed animals, organic veggies and herbs. Simmered for 10 hours for your delection. <laughs> I, Don't laugh at me because I said delection. It's only three syllables. I'm going to look uh, at it. I'm going to look <laughs> it up and see what that is. <laughs> I'm probably using it entirely. Lately. It's probably an entirely different word from delectable. Um, <laughs> I'll let that go. <laughs> but the stuff is delicious and is good for you. And... You can get 10% off when you go to kettleandfire.com. It's K-E-T-T-L-E-A-N-D-F-I-R-E.com. When you go to check out, use code BETTERHUMANHOOD. They'll give you 10% off. 
Let's do the show. End of the first quarter of 2020. Now, the world is a little different than we had envisioned uh, when we recorded uh, you know, our, our year end and year start. There have been a couple of and, twists. Um, yeah. So if you're listening to this like way in the future, what's happening right now is uh, everybody's staying home with each other and um, the gyms are closed and the mall are closed and the, the libraries are closed and the bookstores are closed and um you know i don't all know all the restaurants are takeout only yeah so you know, if they're even still open by the time this this podcast lands there is that um so if you made goals you have had to be flexible in their implementation Perhaps. Yeah. So where are we at? How are we doing? Uh, how are, I know we talked last week, this doesn't affect you, your routines that much. You're not going right. to Toastmasters. You're not having your um, mastermind. It, you know, you're not yeah. physically meeting, though you can... Right. You know, you're doing stuff virtually. You know, we're doing that too. You know, we're not going to library every week with the baby, but you know, we're keeping up her physical therapy uh, via mm-hmm. uh, HIPAA comp- compliant you know, uh, teleconferencing software. Right. Yeah. You know, so, you know, some routines are still on, uh, but just in a different form. Yeah. How are you using your? I mean, you, one of the things that you know, going virtual does for meetings mm-hmm. um, is it takes away commute times, mm-hmm. and it also takes away uh, you know chatting after you know, the meeting's done. Somebody pulls you aside and talks for half an hour, and then maybe you go get coffee. So you don't have that. Right aspect of it, so so you might be gaining um, an hour or two per meeting, um, but losing the personal connection that 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 hour or two had. Yeah, uh, for you. So how how are how um, how are you using the extra time, uh, and how has that worked in with your with, with goals you've set for yourself this year, you don't have to get too specific on those goals if you don't want. I know some of them are public and no, some of them are not. I'm, um, I'm failing miserably. Um, <laughs> well, that's not, that's not entirely true. I'm, I'm not failing miserably globally. Um, as a matter of fact, one of my goals this year was to become consistent again with my podcast. Uh, and you've been doing podcast. a great job so far with that. Thank you very much. Once I finally got going, I'm I'm back to um, I've, I've done six in a row without without allowing myself an excuse for not doing one. So I feel really really good about that. And um, and they even have some they have substance, so that's good. So that part of the goal is good. I've got some monetization goals that I have not reaped the reward of nor necessarily planted the right seeds. Okay. Um, but you're cognizant uh, of uh, where you want to be on that. Yeah. And you're checking in yeah. on, and, you, and you're cognizant of the things that you're um, doing or not doing toward that. Yeah, yeah. What and I find important. is, uh, for some reason, I'm in demand. Uh, <laughs> I did one of my podcasts not too long ago, and uh, an individual said to me, you know, because, uh, you know, I fancy myself a great life coach. <clears throat> And, 
she said to me doing this this podcast, or actually just before the podcast, she said, you, you know, you're supposed to be a leadership coach, right? I said, well, you know, I've given that some thought. Um, she says, no, 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 no. You really should be doing leadership stuff because that's what you do. Take a look at where you are and all the organizations you belong to. What are you doing? Oh, so there's some refocusing going on and then getting that together. But all in all, I'm doing well. My vitamin K has been as consistent as always. Um, a little sleepy a couple of mornings, but but that's back. So I, I really appreciate that. Um, my personal goals, my money goals, relationship goals, um, I'm I'm okay with those. So all in all, my life is pretty is pretty good. Um, good. I don't have anything I can feel overly bad about not accomplishing. I had started one venture um, earlier, which it turned out wasn't for me. There were some things about it which didn't set right with with how I do things in life. So I had to mm-hmm. let it go. Um, and I could tell it wasn't right for me because I was suffering a great deal of anxiety, which Good, yeah, we should definitely really, make really a podcast out of that too at some point because hmm? we should definitely make a podcast out of out of you know not your specific situation necessarily, but of recognizing when something isn't right. Because I I ended my podcast for the same reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, it just it was a big source source of anxiety and, and yeah, um, stopping me from doing other important work. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah. And then once you have the anxiety, it learn something about anxiety. It it doesn't stay where you put it. It feeds <laughs> over <laughs> yeah. every other area of your life. Exactly. And suddenly everything is out of whack because um, you can't get past the other stuff. So the day that I dropped that life became so much better. Um, and and I really didn't realize how much I was suffering. So yeah, we can definitely do a podcast on yeah. when things make you sick, don't do them, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So so all in all, uh, my other goals are in place. Um, writing. Um, I started collecting the things I need to write. I've got a couple other things I'd like to do. I haven't done yet, but you know, it's only the end of March. I got nine months left. And we're quarantined, so chances right. are I don't have as many distractions. Oh man, I miss my uh, I miss my morning breakfasts with different people and my lunches, saving money. Right. <laughs> but that, but that's it. But uh, luckily, the people that I keep in contact with, I can do so through through this means, and and I'm okay. This means being like a video conference, a or video a phone conference call, or, call or, yeah. or phone, or yeah, just yeah. just keeping in touch. Sometimes, just keeping in touch is enough. Um, yeah, um, I want to um, applaud you for a couple of things this quarter. Actually, um, oh, the first uh, <laughs> the first of your uh, series of consistent podcasts that dropped. I think I, I think I was very sarcastic about it. I, I think uh-huh. I. I think I took a screenshot of it landing and then texted it to you and with like an LOL. Yeah. And you was like, like what, what the heck what, is this? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> you did. I remember that. Um, and then <laughs> um, the next one I was like, Hey, congratulations on launching. And then after that, you've been consistent and um, that's awesome. Uh, well, you also did something else during that process too. About the third one. <clears throat> I don't know if you remember this. You said to me, okay, this is three in a row. Like I'm starting to expect them now. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't remember saying that, but it sounds like something I'd uh, yeah, it, it, uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it was like that. And, and I had another conversation with another, with another gentleman uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about my podcast and vitamin K and we were talking about vitamin K because he says we get vitamin K he says, and I look forward to them because you've given me permission to expect them every day. And I, I remember a specific podcast when I did verbally give that permission. You may expect this every morning because I'm going to be doing this. And he says, you, you gave, you gave us that expectation with your podcast too. However, um, you, you slipped on that and I was no longer able to expect them. So I, 
I understand you're doing them now, but I really haven't had an opportunity to get back to them. Right. The expectation I have with vitamin K. So, you know, looking out over that past and, you know, I definitely had reasons. Trust me, just ask me. I'm sure I can come up with something of why I wasn't consistent with that. Um, my podcast before. Well, I mean, be real, you know, we, uh, we, we know why it's, it, it's one word. Uh, it's, it's that big R resistance that. Oh, that one. Oh, well, I was yeah. going to use the F yeah. word, but you know, no, no, I mean, it's, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, yeah. And that, but uh, I'm over it. And what I've found in continuing, cause there's, don't get me wrong. There's been a couple of nights. I'm like, mm, I don't want to do this. And my brain was like, you know, what's going to happen if you don't do this. And six months later, you're not going to do this. So right. out of the six podcasts I've done consistently for the last six, two of them launched at, oh, you know, 5.30 in the morning. But I was determined because it's supposed to be up at six. So which means I didn't go to bed. So I'm like, I'm not going right. to go to bed until I get this podcast done. And then I do that. And then I feel really, really good. Sleep like a baby for two hours because, well, you know, that's my cycle. <laughs> but the other thing I wanted to um, to applaud you for uh-huh. is um, you've put some planning time into vitamin K. That I know that there are some you know, recently, and, and we're recording this episode a week ahead of time, so um, you, you recently you've done some some timely ones. Yeah, uh, on on this novel coronavirus is going around, but uh, you've had some series. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you you've you've done you know, like a five and a six, mm-hmm. or like a five and an eight, or something. But you've had a couple yes. yeah. that even if you haven't written them a week, a week and a half ahead, mm-hmm. um, that you've at least planned them that right. that long ahead. Uh, and yeah, that that shows that you're. Um, yeah, that, that you're really taking more of a, a long-term uh, enjoyment investment in it instead of a just I got to get this out tomorrow. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or today is like I mean I know that you know it used to be that you know, sometimes they'd come out at four fifteen five o'clock instead of three thirty. <laughs> and we knew that you were. Yeah, it is a telltale sign with those. <laughs> uh, yeah, we knew that that meant. Oh, I wasn't planning on it. I, uh, you know, I, I wrote it, um, and and just sent it off uh, before I went to bed, um, rather than being able to schedule it. Well, actually, what happened was I had planned to do it, but uh, I allow myself way too many distractions. So sometimes the distractions take up the priority. And then when it's time to do the real work, you know, it's got right. left over. So I'm changing that. Um, yeah. Again. So yeah, I just wanted to, uh, to just try to get you some positive feedback for that. I think that, well, well, that's I great that you're doing those things. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, and, and, and as you, I tell you, I, um, every once in a while, honestly, I go, well, you know, is, is this really still, having an effect on people or, or people because I, I had, I had one, uh, one individual, uh, one individual who actually wrote me and said, Hey, well, you know, I, this is what I need from, from a, from a thing. So if you could, cause every once in a while I ask people if there's something else that they would like to see done with the vitamin K and that individual gave me his feedback. And it's like, you know, maybe cut that down to once a week and, and, uh, and make it have a little more impact. And I'm like, yeah, but then it's not and, and then I look at the other six yeah. messages I got that morning who said, Oh my God, thank you so much. That is exactly what I needed to hear today. I'm so glad you're still here. And I'm like, well, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, vitamin K daily, there's not, uh, there's not a mystery that it's a daily product, right? <laughs> well, that is true. That is true. But it does leave me the option of thinking about perhaps other, uh, things I can put together that might fit that particular niche out of yeah. the other ones I'm doing. But yeah, the day, the daily is a daily and it's been a daily for, for nine years. I've missed one issue in nine years and wow. nine, nine and, plus years. And that might be a, that must've been a long time ago because I don't remember it. 
It was, yeah, it was a couple of years ago. I, I'm just, and, you know, there was, I was traveling, there was thunderstorms, there was no power, there's stuff like that. And, 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 and that got me, but other than that, I've been very consistent with it. And it's one of the, th- it's one of the biggest joys in my life to be perfectly honest with you. Great. So, <clears throat> I keep it going. I get tremendous feedback. Um, and, and it keeps, it keeps me active. So thank you very much for your compliments. I appreciate them. And, um, I intend to be doing it for at least another nine years, <clears throat> which means I keep planning to live a long time. Good. So Good. coronavirus, you don't get me. <laughs> Did I say that? No. <laughs> oh boy. Sorry. Um. <laughs> God, I didn't even get a chance to see that face either. Uh, no. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> anyway. Anyhow, you can probably just isolate it because, uh, you know, you know, it's about 25 minutes since our recording. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to stay there. <laughs> uh, hmm. You know, most of the so most of the work toward goals I've done mm-hmm. so far this year are groundwork. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to tell, you know, what progress is. Um, I know one spot that I am not up to where I should be is my, my physical health. Mm -hmm. Um, by now I should like this week, I should have been put on statins. Uh, but I had to cancel the, you know, I had to postpone the the labs that would have measured my my blood in the meeting with the doctor because they're not, um, well, at the time that I had these things scheduled this past week, uh, yeah, I looked at the, at the doctor's office website and they didn't have any particular guidelines in place on the website. If, uh, if you were at risk or thought you might have coronavirus and, Mm -hmm. um, and I had to make the decision to say, you know what? I don't want to go to a doctor's office. That's where sick people are right now. Uh, let me reschedule for a time when it's more likely that people will be healthy. So I rescheduled for May, but you know, that gives me a chance to refocus some time on uh, eating better and getting some exercise. You know, I can't make it to the gym because the gyms are closed right now, but I have weights. I have a jump rope. I have a body, you know, I can, you know, I can move without, uh, you know, without equipment. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm going to put a renewed focus on that or, or, you know, by the time this comes out, I will have been, or I should have been putting a renewed focus on that. And I know that I'm behind in that and I have the, I have the chance to refocus that right now. Uh, you know, one of my other goals was to have, uh, you know, what is, what is called a vomit draft. So like the, just the quick first draft with no mm-hmm. editing, uh, of a book by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I went through, uh, I think I mentioned this a couple episodes ago, but I don't, I, I can't be positive. Tucker Max, who wrote, I hope this are beer in hell, uh, and a couple other bestsellers. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has a company that, uh, that writes, that helps people write books. Right. And, uh, I went through his free, free course. And one of the things they offer is, uh, yeah, they offer like a step-by-step really on how to get your book written. Mm-hmm. So I've gone through that course and I've got his outline template, uh, ready to go. Once was I, that the, was that the, uh, scribe one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. the scribe method. Yeah. Uh, that was just kind of, it used to be called book in a box, but they changed it to something oh, a little okay. less, uh, something a a little less hokey. Uh, It's a, it was a good, I I found the course valuable. So, and it's free. We'll make sure we link that. Uh, So if you get a book and you, and I mean, now is a great time to start if you're home unexpectedly for a few weeks. (laughs) Uh, It's a lot of people are. And and you've got the, you got the time and you know, I'll, I'll give this away. He, uh, you know, yeah, and part of the course is write, you know, commit to 250 words a day, six days mm-hmm. a week. Yeah, you know, that's not a lot. That's one double space page. Mm-hmm. 
you know, you get a hundred page book written in three months. Yeah, you know, if you do a little more, that's great. But if you commit to 250 words a day, you won't burn out. If you commit to a thousand words a day, you're going to burn out. If you commit to most you know, likely, yeah, yeah. And, <clears throat> and the minute you stop having, you know, one, you know, the the minute you give yourself one day off, you, you might be willing to give yourself two, and then and then you find yourself uh, not having touched it in a month. So. That that seems like very practical advice. So you know, we we said big R resistance earlier. That comes out of uh, Stephen Pressfield's War of Art, you know, which is something that I'm rereading right now, and um, you know, smacking myself in the head every other paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> I started reading like, it. That I sounds I, familiar. I, think I accidentally that lost familiar. it for that reason. That no, no. sounds familiar. Uh, well, I have the um, distinct pleasure of having it on on my kindle app so oh there you go <laughs> yeah yeah it was it, it got me started and then i got sidetracked with a with a couple of things um i think this is hitting a little too close to home a little too close to home a little too close to home okay uh, <laughs> <I'm gonna learn. laughs> i have i have so many things um if, if i had to have a weakness it would probably be uh, the inability or the reluctance to, I had the word in my head right then. Give Choose, something up. You know, <laughs> okay. pri- maybe, maybe, maybe prioritize, prioritize, you know, you know, and just, just stick to this uh, for, for a bit. So many things I'm interested in. You know, I love I love Brendan Bush, uh, Brendan Burchard. He's a magnificent uh, uh, mentor and, and coach. And he and this is a guy who wrote uh, High Performance Habits. He's is mm-hmm. incredible. Well, I think we talked about one of his folks last a couple of weeks a couple of weeks yep. ago. Yeah, um, and and you can you can just go so deep with him. And then then I'm then I'm spending all my time. I'm not I'm not. Uh, Plus he has podcasts. He said two podcasts. Um, so right. then I'm, you're I'm not in, doing anything with it. I'm just reading right. it. Right. Then you're doing, then you're in the Brendan rabbit hole. Yeah. I'm in that, yeah rabbit that rabbit hole, hole thing. Yeah. So we need to come back out and apply some of this stuff. So, yeah, exactly. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm further ahead than I, um, than, than I thought I would be right now. And I just learned some things last week dealing with my, uh, a Weber, Who's who I use for my my vitamin K and stuff and the uh, uh, the stuff that they offer and, and oh man I've been so busy using Aweber to put stuff out I have not caught up with the advancements of what they have available right now and I'm like oh my gosh how have I been missing this tool all these years so I'm excited about implementing some it, yeah yeah like and and yeah that's one of the benefits of getting ahead too if you you know you get a week. The vitamin K written out, you can you get a week ahead. Then yep. you can take some of the time that you're going to dedicate to writing every night into diving into the tools, yes. and you know, you know, kind of re rejiggering those tools. Every once in a while, I go through and like find what people raved about, and like I'll take five like best of the most recent. Since I've been doing it for nine years, I could probably put out several best ofs. Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> So yeah, that that, uh, that lesson stuff goes. So anyway, yeah, I'm still I'm still heading in the right direction. And I, I recall I gave you permission that if I was slacking, you could uh, tap me on the shoulder and uh, make sure I noticed. So you uh, be proud of yourself. There's very few <laughs> people on the planet who have that privilege with me. Well, I uh, try not to take, I, you know, I try not to do it too much. But, <laughs> well, you know, if, um, but I guess that's a matter. I guess that's more up to you, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So if I give you, but, but it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a position of trust. So we got that. So, uh, yeah. And, and right. then my job is to not make you use it. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. So all you got to do to not to not have me use it is just to 
keep at it. Keep working. Keep at you know? it. And I'm, I'm All right. So that's it. You know, check in with yourselves. Uh, we talked about where we're at. Check in with where you're at with your goals. See what you need to be flexible on, you know, given our current circumstances. See if it's time to uh, drop something if it's not serving you. Uh, is that something that we will talk about soon, I think. And uh, thanks to our friends at Kettle on Fire. Go to kettleonfire.com. Use code BETTERHUMANHOOD when you check out, and they'll give you 10% off your order. JKWDpodcast.com for show notes for this and other episodes. VitaminKDaily.com for your daily dose of positive, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for listening. Show notes and more at jkwdpodcast.com. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and share with your friends, and we will see you next week. A Better Humanhood Production.